cookies are a treat that many of us eat for both the holidays and many other special occasions. But did you know that cookies involve science? Have you ever wondered how you get a nice, fluffy cookie from a batch of cookie dough? In today's STEM Major Adventure, we'll more learn more specifically why cookies rise. Before we get started, please make sure you're subscribed to STEM Major. Also, if you like my videos, be sure to give it a like. And now on to today's topic. Have you ever baked cookies and they've turned out too flat? Have you ever noticed that many cookie recipes use an important ingredient, either baking powder or baking soda? These ingredients are really important when you're making cookie dough, even down to the precise measurements. But why? This is because they help a cookie rise. The ability for cookies to rise involves science, more specifically chemistry. Let's take a closer look at the chemistry behind leavening agents and how they help cookies and other foods rise. So what exactly is a leavening agent? A leavening agent is a substance that will release gas when mixed into dough or batter and cause the dough or batter to expand. There are many types of leavening agents, like yeast and even steam. But most chefs will use something called a chemical leavening agent. A chemical leavening agent releases carbon dioxide to cause expansion. Baking soda, also known as sodium bicarbonate, is a chemical leavening agent. If you remember from my previous video, acids and bases, the cranberry science challenge, the baking soda was the base in the experiment. You'll see why this is important to know in just a minute. Baking powder is also a chemical leavening agent. It is a combination of a base like baking soda and some sort of dry acid or dry salt like cream or tartar or tartic acid and something like cornstarch to prevent a reaction until just the right time. The reason chemical leavening agents are often used in baking instead of yeast is because the reaction starts much faster compared to yeast. Chemical leavening agents is added to batter or dough and it causes a specific type of chemical reaction called an acid-base reaction, which also I talked about in my recent video, Acids and Bases, the Cranberry Science Challenge. Baking soda, which is basic, reacts with acidic items in the dough, for example, like honey, molasses, buttermilk, yogurt, or even cocoa. When this acid-base reaction occurs, it creates carbon dioxide, a gas, salt, and water. When baking soda is added to the dough containing acidic items, the reaction happens immediately. If you leave the batter out for too long with baking soda in it, the reaction might stop before you even put it in the oven. Baking powder can either be single acting or double acting. Because baking powder has some sort of dry acid in it, the acid base reaction is activated when the baking powder comes into contact with the liquid. With single acting baking powder, the reaction occurs quickly when added to the dough or batter to produce carbon dioxide. With double acting baking powder, some of the gas is released when you mix the baking powder into the dough or batter, and some of the gas is released when you heat the batter or dough, for example, baking it in the oven. Now that we've talked about how leavening agents work, let's see it in action. Watch as we see the power of leavening agents when baking cookies. And now you know all about how cookies rise. Now that's some yummy baking science. Thanks for joining me in this STEM Edger adventure. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and drop a like if you enjoy this video. Also, to watch an example of an acid-based reaction, be sure to check out my video on Acids and Bases, the Cranberry Science Challenge. I'll see you in next week's video.